Psalm 46. God is our refuge and God is our strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth give way and mountains fall to the heart of the sea, though waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. For he makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow, shatters the spear, burns the shield with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So brothers and sisters, I don't know what your still quiet place is that helps you to be still before God. But what God is saying is that we're not in control, that we can't control anything except what comes out of our hearts and minds and mouths. And even then we often have trouble controlling that because of sin, because of fear, because of worry, because of anxiety. And so what God is saying is at times you just need to be still and we avoid that because being still means we can get introspective. Being still means we can confront ourselves. Being still means we take away all the distractions. But that's what God wants. And he wants us to admit that we're not in control. And then to ask ourselves if we are spiritual beings. And then to ask ourselves if we believe that in the midst of it all is a spiritual being that loves us and cares for us and is there for us? And do we believe that love wins? And so God is saying, just clear your mind of all things and know that I am God. And by that, he's not saying, I will fix it. God is not saying that the earth and the mountains won't tumble and the seas won't foam. God is saying that somehow love wins. And we forget that so easily but God doesn't. And God loves you with passion. God loves you with a spiritual presence. God is with us no matter what. So wherever you're getting thin skinned, wherever you're feeling thin of soul and spirit, wherever you're feeling brothers and sisters, just the overwhelming worry of pandemic or quarantine or being inside or economic, political, be still and know that God is God, that love wins in the end. Be still and let God be your refuge. You can't control it. You can't change it. What you can do, and by that I don't mean we live without wisdom. God gives us wisdom. We do our best. But God says in the end, even where you fail yourself, I win. And God's winning is a winning of forgiveness and a winning of grace and a winning of love, and a winning of good for spirit. So even when we are weak, we are strong in that. So brothers and sisters, I encourage you to be still and to know that God is God. God is in control in ways we don't understand. God is in control in ways that are all about bringing our souls to the right place. And as we listen and as we bow down to that in humility, we experience God's love and strength. Let us pray. So Lord God, be with my brothers and sisters. Be with those who are finding it so hard to be still. And Lord God, I pray that you would just let them know that even when they fail, you are their God. That even when they don't know where to flee, you offer the, yourself as refuge. And Lord, I just ask that in all things, your Holy Spirit would be with us and in us, especially when we fail, when we fail each other, when we fail ourselves, when we fail the things we most want to be and to say, Lord, may we get quiet, draw on your strength and try again. For Lord, you never fail. And so Lord, now we are ready to just be still, to acknowledge that you are Lord and Lord, to let you be our refuge. In Jesus' precious name, amen.